Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas, and my name is Eric. Today I'm going to be working on a Dell Inspiron 1564 model. Uh, the tools we're going to be using are just a standard small screwdriver, Phillips star, whatever you want to call it. And what we're going to be doing on this particular model is just removing the hard drive for top level data recovery. Um, more like data transfer, but uh, we'll get to that point right now and there's a different explanation however you want to describe it. But Okay, the first thing you want to do before you work on any laptop is remove the battery. So the way on, I'm going to do on this laptop is just slide it over to the release position and remove the battery just like so. Battery should come right off. I'm just going to put that aside here. And to get to the kind of the guts of this laptop, everything is stored pretty much, I mean, everything of any importance is stored underneath this panel right here in the center. You'll have your RAM and I believe your hard drive. We're going to find out here in just a second. I, I am just going to be working on this as we go along here. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove these screws. I'm trying to get a camera shot for you guys. These screws right here. Uh, I think that's it. One, two, and three. So we'll start off by just unscrewing those screws. And it shouldn't take you very long. I see a lot of guys using like drills and stuff on laptop repair and honestly I just don't feel safe doing it. I prefer the uh, old manual way. It works just fine and it only took me a couple seconds to take this panel off. And you'll see this reveals a couple key components here on a laptop. Our hard drive right here off the bottom, our RAM, our system battery, and this is a wireless LAN card. So if either one of these components goes out, you know that with three screws you can get right to them and you can replace them very easily. I'll be doing a separate video on how to upgrade the RAM and the hard drive uh, Basically, just for category, just to categorize my videos. Um, really, by watching this video, you can get to everything. But either way, I'll make a video for you guys. So the first thing you want to do is on this video, we're going to remove the hard drive. And the way I'm going to do that is by taking off these screws here, and we're going to take those off just like so. Ah, it's tiny little screws and I have these fat hands so it's a little difficult sometimes. I want to be careful not to drop a screw in there because then this easy job will become so much more difficult having to get this computer down to the bare bones and finding that screw so just be careful when you're taking the screws off to take the hard drive off you can hold on to this panel right here I'm sorry this um, this little slit this piece of plastic in order to pull out the hard drive or you could gently just push it out and you'll see it pop right off the SATA port the ports um, and there's your hard drive so if your hard drive went bad on this computer you can very easily just pick up a drive somewhere on Amazon um, you know how would you remove it you would replace the drive Put your screws back on. And once you get these screws back on, reload the operating system. In this case, this one I believe came with Windows 7. These newer Dell and Sprons are not going to come with anything other than Windows 7. They're not new, they're about a year and a half, two years old, but I mean, that's when Windows 7 was released either way. Well, I'm sorry, about two and a half years ago, but I'm not trying to get technical. So you would remove the hard drive, replace the drive with a new one, put your panel back on, and that should just slide right or snap back on. Put the screws back on it here. and make sure it snaps in. There we go. Okay, so in this video in this video we've successfully removed the panel, we revealed the hard drive, your RAM, 
a wireless LAN card, and your system battery. If either one of those components go out on the Dell Inspiron 1564, you know that it's just three screws away to get to those components and be able to replace them or repair them, whatever you need to do with them. Um, in this video I showed you guys how to remove the hard drive just by re removing the panel, removing those four screws, sliding the hard drive off. If you were doing a hard drive replacement, you would put your new drive in there. Um, put your battery back in, of course, and load your operating system. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section on YouTube. You can find us on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. Um, we're also on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. And check out our website for free downloads, more videos, and uh, more resources. That's www.itconflict. And again, this is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.